Robert Poulet, the 4th of September 1893 to the 6th of October 1989, was a Belgian writer, literary critic and journalist. Politically, he was a Mora's inspired integral nationalist who became associated with a collaborationist newspaper during the occupation of Belgium by Nazi Germany. Topic: <laughs> Literature Educated at the Faculté des Mines in his hometown, Poulet served in the First World War and before taking odd jobs in Belgium and France. He began writing for a number of literary reviews in the 1920s and published his first novel, The Surrealist Hand G, in 1931. He became a part of the Groupe du Lundi that built up around Franz Hellens which attacked the regional novels prevalent in France at the time and instead endorsed magic realism. As a literary critic he became noted for his rejection of female authors, dismissing them as midinets en diable. Politics Poulet was involved in politics during the early 1930s when he was a member of the corporatist study group Reaction. Although not altogether enamored of Nazism he became the «political director» of Le Nouveau Journal, a collaborationist paper launched by Paul Collin in October 1940. A strong supporter of Belgian independence, he was heavily influenced by Charles Maurras and the Action Française and by 1941 was in agreement with Raymond de Becker that a corporatist, authoritarian party of state should be created. His idea was soon abandoned however when the Nazis decide to instead back Léon de Grelle and Rexism, a philosophy to which Poulet was opposed. Despite all of this Poulet never opposed the Nazis and frequently wrote in support of them during his time at Le Nouveau Journal. He also praised them in their war against the Soviet Union due to his own strict anti-communism. He was sentenced to death in October 1945 for collaboration but, after serving six years imprisonment, ostensibly on death row, he was released and allowed to return to France. <laughs> Later years Following his move to France he published a number of autobiographical novels in which he sought to justify his wartime collaboration as merely trying to safeguard the monarchy and Belgian independence. He would also act as a reader at editions Denoël and Plan, as well as writing for the far-right journal Riverall, the Catholic paper Présent and Écrise de Paris, amongst other publications. He was a close friend and supporter of Robert Forasson and joined him in advocating Holocaust denial. Despite Poulet's controversial opinions, famed The Adventures of Tintin cartoonist Hergé, who worked for Poulet during the war, maintained a lifelong friendship with Poulet until Hergé's death in 1983. Poulet's autobiography, C.E. Ne pas un vie, appeared in 1976. He died in 1989. 